Darren, here's a little gadget that has a little switch down here. Mm -hmm. And if I'm going to turn it on, it's going to run across the desk here like this. And if it gets into any kind of trouble, all you do is clap your hands. Okay. Clap your hands. You know what that is? That's a single sensor robot. Okay. What's a robot, first of all? Well, a robot is a machine that does things for people. That It does chores or... Chores? Yeah. yeah. Have you seen them in pictures in the factory? Yeah, they're just working and doing one special function. Right. Take a plate up and turn it over mm -hmm. and do something like that. Mm -hmm. And a single sensor robot, what does that mean to you? Well, it probably senses one thing. Only one thing. Now, you already know what this one senses, right? Yeah, it senses sound waves. Sound waves. In fact, this little uh, thing in the front here is a sort of bumper, so it bumps into things, but when it hears that sound, it sends a signal down over here to the microprocessor inside, and at the bottom, you can see there's a motor, mm -hmm. and it'll always turn 30 degrees and then keep going. Okay. So this time, I'll see if I can set it so it hits the wall over there. Okay. You know how to, how to save it from a yeah, just clap falling my over hands. the precipice over there at the edge of the desk? All right. Okay. I'll let it bump into my hand this time. Now you're cooking. Okay, now how would that be useful in a robot that you might have around the house? The idea that it responds to sound. Well, in case it bumps into something, in so it can bump into something, so in case you want it to deliver something or things like right. that. Right, so it, it bumped into something, that would be one thing, but it also could be uh, uh, sensing to other kinds of sounds. You could say, robot, come here. Okay, and, and maybe and someday it'll pick they, it up through they'd here. pick it up through there and it would do various things. So that's okay. one based on sound. Here's another one. This is an odd one. Mm -hmm. Looks like a spider. Yeah, doesn't it look like a spider? It has six legs. Mm -hmm. We'll turn it on and see if you can figure out okay. what it does. You see the switch there? Let's let it walk all the way to the wall okay. and see what happens. Oh, I see. You're putting your hand in front of it and it blocks it out so it turns. Yes. Okay, put your hand okay. in front of it. Can you grab it? You turn sure. it off? And yeah. what do you think this single sense is in this computer? Well, it's a seeing sense. It's a seeing sense. sense is. Yeah. But it's not seeing just regular light like you and I are. Inside here is a sensor that responds to infrared. You know what that okay. is? Uh, I think it's when it sees, uh, a, it's a wave that it sees. True, yeah. but then light is a wave too. This is a wavelength of light that we can't see Okay. It is, it's too long for us to see. It, our eyes aren't sensitive to it, but the little sensor in the front does, and if you turn this one over, you see it has... A motor? Yeah, the motor. Two motors. Yeah, to work all these six legs. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's true that it sees, it sees things in infrared, what should happen if we take this transparent plastic like that? Well, it'll probably try to keep going right through. Why? Mm -hmm. They're trying to keep going through. There it is, right in front of it. Why can't I see it? Well, because it's transparent. Yes. And it sees whatever's behind it. Yes, it's transparent. Now, how would this be useful in a robot around the house? Well, if it sees things, it'll stop, and it can... Like, it won't bump into walls or anything, and... Except if they're transparent walls, yeah. like that one. Right? Yeah. Okay. So that might be a useful one to have. Now, over there on top of my computer, you see that piece of paper? I'll yeah. I'll it down here and put it on the desk. Okay. What do you suspect this computer is going to do, or this robot's going to do? Well, judging from the paper, I think it'll follow the black line. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, let, before we turn it on, see if you can figure out how. You see right over here? Well, there's a couple of sensors there's there. There's a couple of sensors right there. There's yeah. one in the middle and one on each side. Mm -hmm. As long as the black line is going along here, it'll go straight. But if it starts wandering around, or the line does, this sensor over here will detect the difference between the black and the white. And send so, a signal over to the motors on the other side and, and straighten it out again. Then this okay. one will take over. So it should follow the line, you think? Yeah. Okay, turn it on. Okay. There's, there it is, switches right okay. there. 
I see, so it's switching back and forth to each sensor and it's following the line. I don't know if you've seen robots that work on this principle in, uh, in some hospitals and in some office buildings. They have a gadget that delivers the mail. So one day you'll probably have robots that have computers in them that mm -hmm. will in effect do some things that are around the house and it might work on a sensor like this one, which is what? Infrared. Yeah, or infrared. Or a sensor like this one. Uh, hearing. Yeah, or sound. Sound. Or a sensor like that one. Yeah, with the two sensors that judge the light. Right.